everybody, it is Jason back with you on Rediscover the 80s. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for being a loyal subscriber. Sorry it's been a minute since I uh, posted a review, but uh, I've been sitting on a bunch of things. Just a matter of finding the time to sit down and review some stuff. And we've got a wonderful day here, so I thought it would be the perfect time to get out here and uh, review a new toy item that I found. Uh, actually, not found. Uh, that I pre-ordered through Walmart.com back in... I don't know, last October or November. It showed up uh, about three weeks ago. I've been sitting on this for quite a while. And uh, also in the channel, you know that I've reviewed some new G.I. Joe items from the new retro line. And uh, what I got in the mail recently, the Cobra Fang. Uh, now this is one of the vehicles that I never had. Uh, my cousin, Kenny, had this. He had a bunch of the Cobra vehicles, the little trouble bubble, and uh, I think he had the uh, the rap, uh, the Rattler, the Blue Jet, and had the Fang, uh, but I never did, so I thought, uh, I need to pick this up, because I'm not sure if I'm going to find it in stores or not. So the Cobra Fang is here, comes with the enemy pilot, and you can see in a little bit uh, better picture there on the back of uh, the pilot there, the file card of course, and some of the, the you know the features. And it looks like to be close to the classic Fang. I'm not sure how much uh, it will take to put it together, but we were going to find out today on Rediscover the 80s. I also got a Destro figure uh, with this order, this pre-order that I have not opened yet. So maybe I'll uh, uh, eventually open it here on Rediscover the 80s, but Yo, Joe, or should I say Cobra, today on Rediscover the 80s. Okay, so I couldn't find my normal tablecloth here. Uh, so I guess maybe it got washed or something, so I had to clean up the, uh, the glass on our uh, table here on the back porch. But uh, here's the box. I mean, just the artwork is so classic and just, just uh, perfect for capturing that old G.I. Joe feel with that background art. And there's a little close-up you can get at, uh, to look at the enemy that comes with it in that window. Then here's the file card for the Cobra Pilot. They call him Cobra Pilot on the card. So his role is the Gyrocopter Pilot. Okay. So, and he, it's, they've got, uh, in every language now on there, which is pretty cool. So, we'll see. We probably have to put these stickers on, I would imagine so. And I'll do that probably not on camera to show you the final product when it's, uh, all done. But I'm going to slice open the tape here on the side and we'll see what kind of assembly is required with the Cobra Fang. Slide it right out. We'll take the figure out. He does... I'm going to need scissors, looks like, to get him out of there. I'll leave him in there for now, but there's the back of it. So it comes just about assembled. Looks like we'll have to pop in the rotary blades and pop on the missiles and this is going to take some scissors which I did not bring so we'll uh, magically be right back uh, maybe I forgot from the uh, the last ones I've been opening that there was some uh, place where I needed to pop some rubber bands here maybe it was twist ties last time yeah that's looking great and I'll have to pop it on the these scissors don't even <laughs> do anything when I push them down. I got to do it myself. Nice big rotary blade. I think it was all one piece back in the day. I think there was uh, multiple pieces. There's the big bomb. And we'll cut open the missiles here. those so there are the four missiles looks like you've got two little contact points uh, 
on either end to push it onto the side of the skid. And we'll just have to get some Joe fans to chime in if that was it back in the day as well. Or if it was all like maybe one piece. Because like I said, I did not have the, uh, the fang back in the day. Let's see if I can get to our figure as well so we can get close on that. These scissors are not working, so I'm going to have to take a look at the figure in a minute. All right. And we've got uh, some nice blueprints here to put in, put together, actually, for our stickers. So this shows where all of those will go on both sides. Also, some stickers on the bomb. Um, and on the missiles, too. So, yeah. So, that's our assembly. We just got to pop in the rotor. And pop on the missiles. So I'll do that. So you guys can see how easy it is. Should be easy because it looks like it's just a fit it on there type deal. There we go. Snapped in. Oh, yeah. What is it, was it about helicopters that just made them great toys? You know, the, the blades. You think of like Condor and... I had the Rambo helicopter as well back in the day. And these guys have a hexagon shape. Fit your bomb on there. And you pop on. So these have uh, pegs that are standing straight up, so... Just fit it right down on top. Like that. There it is. And then in the front, of course, was the gun. The multi-directional gun that you can zap people wherever you want to there. It is a, so it rotates 360 and then it does do an up and down motion as well. That's pretty cool. Some nice detailing there of the engine. And then the stick of the control, as I just dropped my missile. And I believe the back rotor will move too, if we wanted it to. Yeah, it just turns in there. Going to need some wind to make that thing move. <laughs> All right, well, let's get the stickers on it and uh, we'll come back around and give our final look at it. Okay, so there is the finished Cobra Fang helicopter. Yes, I mean, this thing looks great. The propeller, you've got the gun out front that moves around, I showed you. Here's a look at some of the stickers on the side. If my math was correct, there was 37 stickers to put on here, which is crazy. I mean, you've got several on the wing itself. I think there was four on each side here, and then about... 12 to put on the sides there's even stickers on the bottom on the bomb and the illustration for where the stickers go uh it some of it worked some of it didn't there's some of these screw holes on this side where it was showing you to put stickers so that's the beauty about it you can stick them wherever you want to and kind of personalize this uh, and i did use the picture on the box to figure out where these stickers for the stay clear warning went i thought maybe it was along the side but it's right on top of the uh helicopter so it did take it just a, a couple things about the toy itself it did take a little bit to get the missiles to stay in i mean you gotta really mash them in there uh, on that first try and maybe that's normal um just to get them to stay in there and uh the bomb seems to stay pretty well as well so you don't have to uh worry about those uh, too much. The figure itself is where I had a little issue with. Uh, it, it does have a peg right in his seat, so you can put him in there and he'll stay in there. It just took a while for me to finagle his legs down into the nose of the chopper to get him to sit down straight. Uh, I do like the paint on this figure. 
his helmet removes, which is pretty cool. So he's got some hair. And uh, there you can see it a little bit better. He's got uh, some kind of vest on. And the one thing with, you know, figures you get with the vehicles, typically you don't get accessories. You don't get uh, a whole lot. I know the other, I think both the uh, His Tank uh, and the Awestriker gave you a stand to sit him in. So if you wanted to put Destro in the fang when you displayed it, you could still have him out and have a little stand. We didn't get a stand with this. Uh, it's the same articulation, the feet feet and ankles, the, the double with the knees is great. Uh, same as I've reviewed for Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. What was really cool, he does come with a accessory for a pistol. So he can pull that out if you happen to wreck the fang and <laughs> he's uh, behind enemy lines. He does have a little bit of protection with the pistol. And that was right in his holster as I pulled it out. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, I wonder if that uh, pistol comes out. Sure enough, it did. Uh, this, uh, his mask actually detaches from the uh, like vest that he's wearing. So it's like a little, it's like an oxygen tube or something, you know. Um, so the the articulation on these figures are just fantastic for their size and the paint schemes have been so well done so i'm very happy as far as how the uh the figures turned out just seems like a, a couple of things they could have uh maybe happened uh, a little bit better with the helmet but it, it does look sharp with the red it will look sharp on display it's just you're not going to be <laughs> if you're giving this to a kid to play with, you know, that helmet is not going to be on. It's going to be uh, lost somewhere. So, very happy with the purchase. Uh, I've got a brand new display cabinet that I just finished. For uh, my friends on Facebook, you've probably seen it. I think I have posted pictures on uh, uh, social media as well. But this is going right in next to the Striker and the Hiss Tank in my display cabinet. So, Pretty nice. I'm trying to remember what I paid for it. Um, I don't think it was more than like 22 to 26 range. And like I said, I pre-ordered just because I wasn't sure if my local Walmart would uh, would get it. So I wanted to be sure because I did not have the Fang and wanted to get it. So there it is, the Cobra Fang in the new GI Joe Retro Collection from Hasbro. And you can find that, hopefully, soon at Walmart. So, that's it for now. Thanks so much for subscribing. Uh, you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you like this video. Any comments you want to uh, leave about the Fang? Do you have one? What's your uh, take on it? Or uh, if you'll be seeking this out once it hits stores, let me know. Because uh, I like to interact with you guys uh, in the comments as we uh, do these reviews. Hopefully, I'll have some time to do some more that I've got uh, sitting around collecting dust. And uh, we appreciate you guys uh, following Rediscover the 80s here on YouTube. We'll catch you next time.